Hi there booktube, my name is Cristina and today I'm back with a review. This is a book that I started reading in winter, it was on my winter TBR, but I ended up finishing it like only at the beginning of March, so that's the reason why I'm only now uploading this review. And this is kind of seasonal book because the title really makes you think about winter, but you actually may read it through all of the year and still enjoy it. But it's a plus if you read it in December, that's for sure. And this is Canon Rajistva or A Winter Solstice by Rosamunda Pilcher. And before everything else, I have to say that I already have another book written by her that I will for sure read because the writing loved it. And this book, in this book, we are following five different characters as far different as far as gender, age social status everything is concerned and we have two kind of elderly people then we have two people in their 30s 20s and then one teenage girl and each protagonist has its own point of view so we follow the story through their eyes and here the book is set in england it starts before winter but then everything wraps up during winter season and especially during December around Christmas or winter solstice in this case. And this is, I would define this probably as a slice of life kind of story. It's a fiction story. We're just following the lives of these people. We're starting to know them, to feel for them and to care for them and it's just one of those books that even if I was, at a certain point, I was a little bit frustrated because I was hoping to finish it sooner, but then I understood that actually I was taking my time in reading it because the feeling at the end of it, it's like, I don't know, if you're a drinker, then probably it's like drinking one of those fancy like brandies or something like that, or if you're a tea lover or a chocolate lover is just like sipping slowly in order to really feel everything and to enjoy the moment. That was the same with the experience that I had reading this book. I just was reading it slowly, 20 pages, 30 pages at a time, and I enjoyed the process really, really much. And that way I feel like I really know these characters. I I like them, I like imagining what happened after the ending of this book, so absolutely, absolutely recommend it, first of all. But let me explain you more in detail what's the book about. We are starting with the story of these different people. At the beginning we are following an ex kind of famous actress and she decides to move from London and she goes living in a small cottage and then she, there she meets a couple and they become friends and she just tries to start living a new life, a different life away from the city and meanwhile we are following this husband of the new friend that this actress just made for herself and then we start following a girl who is the kind of niece, I believe, of this actress and what's her life like. She just came back from Austria and now she has to start a new life in London. And then we're following her niece and she's a teenager, she's just a young girl and she has, of course, bunch of problems by herself. She has a very unsufferable mother and grandmother to deal with. And the last character is a man who moves from New York to London because of his job. And uh, he got a divorce and now he needs to again restart his life. And for a series of uh, incredible but still lovely circumstances, they all end up meeting, of course, together. And so the story is about these people, how they get to know each other, what happens among them, how their relationship changes, and just the feeling of uh, 
starting something new and knowing yourself more and empower yourself and be ready for the next step in your life. That's the kind of theme and that's the kind of theme and feeling that you will probably have after reading this book. As you may understand from what I'm telling you, this book, being a slice of life book, we have very little, little plot twist. We have no cliffhangers. It's not action-packed. It has a very natural and smooth kind of rhythm in it. It's like rolling with the boat on the river. And just overall, it has a very pleasant feeling. It doesn't shy from some hard moments and hard emotions, but still, at the end, you just have this wholesome and fulfilling experience of meeting someone new on the pages that can actually seem like a real person, so with its ups and downs, with pros and cons and so on. Overall, the writing style, at least according to my taste, was beautiful and it wasn't very lyrical, it was simple, yet it gave you the idea of all the things that surround you, so the author was able to create a kind of atmospherical read at the end of the day, and it was slow and just enjoyable, and if I have to find a metaphor, it was like, I don't know, if you're a drinker, then probably it's like drinking one of those expensive brandies or stuff like that, or if you are a tea drinker or, I don't know, a chocolate or a coffee drinker, then you know that sometimes when something is really, really good, you just want to sip it slowly to really enjoy the experience. Well, that's the case. This is what I was doing with this book. That's the reason why it took me so long. At the end of the day, I was reading like 20, 30 pages per day, never more. Sometimes I even took pauses in between and Still, it was an amazing experience because like that, I really was able to like sink into the story and feel all the feels for these characters. Of course, this can be an up, but it, this can be a down too, because if you're expecting something action-packed, that this is not the book for you, there are some kind of big moments in it, but they are treated very gently and you never have those angsty moments. This is not about it. This is about a kind of realistic possibility of what can happen if hard things happen in life, but you are but you know how to deal with it and you're rational and you have like a net of supporting people around you. That's not the case. Of course, in this kind of book, the characters are the main focus, and here we are following just normal people. They were very gray. They weren't only good or only bad. They had their bad and good moments, and you can really see how they try to shine sometimes, or how they put themselves and drag themselves down for whatever reason. So they are very human and very relatable. And I enjoyed the fact that we had such a wide range of ages and uh, just different ways of thinking and then at the end they somehow still come all together and still try to be understanding and uh, empowering for each other. And the strange part is probably that this book really seems like out of time. I mean, we know more or less in which year the story takes place, but it is set in a very remote kind of countryside in um, Great Britain, and so you really cannot pinpoint in what year we are exactly. Some things are there, like for example, they speak about phones, they speak about television, so it's not like set in, I don't know, 18th century, of course, but still it's one of those stories that can be enjoyed at whatever moment in your life and probably in whatever year in the future too, because it's just kind of timeless. And yeah, of course, you may understand from what I'm telling you, I really, really enjoyed this book 
and I will cherish it for sure. I will try and read more books by this author because this is a very enjoyable read. It's a book that it's not for everyone. Again, it's not action-packed, it's not like um, driving on a highway, <laughs> singing songs aloud, it's more subdued and a little bit more subtle, but I enjoyed it. Meanwhile, I received a phone call and I don't know where I was, but probably I was near the end and just was telling that I really, really enjoyed the experience of reading this book. I absolutely recommend it. It's kind of perfect for whatever age, like probably from 12 and up, because nothing too like explicit happens and uh, nothing too bad and so on. So it's just a perfect book. You just have to know that it's not one of those exciting reads. It's more like a soothing and pleasant kind of experience. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know down below if you've ever read this book or if you've read anything by this author and if you enjoyed it in that case or if you will give it a try and read it maybe in the future, maybe next winter because again, if you're searching for something like perfect for the season, this of course is perfect for the season. Please let me know down below if you've ever read it or if you're planning to read it or if you've read anything by this author before and I for sure will give a try to another book by her. I own September by her and I will give it a chance, of course, in autumn. This time I hope that I will be able to read it during the season. And yeah, this is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon in my next one. Bye! Ciao!